Prevailing, winning in the war is, is the first and foremost. To walk into any diplomatic conversation, negotiation, Ukraine has to be more certain that it's in a position of power. The president has said that Ukraine would consider neutrality, but I have to tell you that was not on day 90 tomorrow. So much more has happened, so many atrocities, so much devastation and destruction, things that you know, we can't even imagine having deported 232,000 children from the country to Russia. It's, it's, it's an ethnocide. It is in the Constitution uh, that the pro-NATO position, so even if the president chose to make that part of a future negotiation, it would be up to the Ukrainian people, and they would need to vote. And so there may be a time when that becomes an option, but I can tell you that today, I don't think that that vote would be a positive one. And I think that you know, the decision of Finland and Sweden to apply for membership will affect decision-making in Ukraine as well. So I, I wouldn't count on it as being a live option if this kind of atrocity continues at the level that we're seeing today. And just to follow up on that, do you think that the decisions from Finland and Sweden could essentially inspire Ukraine, despite how complicated the situation is at the moment, to seek NATO membership even more going forward? I think it's a very uh, double-edged sword. Yeah. I, I think that um, it's been perf made perfectly clear that NATO's not prepared to provide membership to Ukraine. Um, and after a war where it was not possible to convince NATO or members of NATO to provide for a no-fly zone, there's also a bit of disappointment with NATO in Ukraine. And so I think, I think it's hard to say where this all lands. There is an enormous amount of gratitude to NATO countries and more than NATO countries, beyond NATO countries, um, for the military support, for the financial support, for the, for the humanitarian support. But, and I, I really believe that the focus, rather than on those outcomes, has to be on putting this war to an end. Until then, it's very hard for anyone in Ukraine to focus on NATO membership in a situation where they are alone physically fighting the second largest army in the world.